Hi, I'm Ursula Sadiq, Product Manager with Autodesk Plant Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make orthographic drawings from an AutoCAD Plant 3D model. Orthos are sometimes called plans and sections, or general arrangement drawings. What they're called depends on where you're from. In this ortho video, Part 1, I'll show you ortho creation. In Part 2, we'll explore annotating, dimensioning, and updating the drawings. I created a project called OrthoDemo and copied in drawings from the sample project that come with AutoCAD Plant 3D. The first ortho we'll create will be a plan view of the combined models that I have open. This combined model includes XREF structure and piping models. I'll start by clicking Create Ortho View on the ribbon. In the Select Orthographic Drawing dialog box, I click Create New, and in the New dialog box, I'll enter a file name for the 2D ortho drawing in this case combine plan view and then click, click OK. You can see the 2D ortho drawing is opened in the background. Next a preview drawing displays. The transparent green ortho cube defines a clipping range and is the only object that can be edited in the preview drawing. The transparent red side shows the view selected. In the ortho ribbon I'll name the view plan view. I change the view from front to top see the red shift at the top and set the scale to 3 16th inch equals a foot, which should fit well into my D-sized paper. Now I'll click Create Ortho View on the ribbon. I'll place the view in the drawing I created previously. If a project is large, creation can take some time. We'll shorten this ortho creation to a few seconds through video magic. And here's our plan view of both the piping and structure, including the racks in the building. The geometry created here is two-dimensional, and the view is locked to avoid accidentally changing the scale. OK, now I'll create another ortho drawing based on a piping drawing. First, I'll double click to open the piping drawing. I'm going to prepare the model by hiding all the line numbers that are not of interest to me. There's some nice isolate tools available in AutoCAD Plant 3D to allow you to quickly select all connected components on a line and hide all other components. You can choose to hide selected or show selected in this case, we just want to show the selected. Now we create our second orthographic drawing by clicking Create New and entering a name, in this case, Line 10001, then click OK. The preview drawing displays, and this time I'm going to add another model by choosing to add in one of the structural models. Then I can see my pipe on the pipe rack. The ortho cube will update showing the additional structure. On the ribbon, I'll enter the view name, plan view, and then I'll choose top to be the view type. Notice how the red preview plane goes to the top from the left. And I'll set my scale this time to 3 8 inch equals 1 foot, making it a bit larger. Now I'll move to a top view. This makes it easier to set the cutting planes and I'll zoom in a little closer so I can see what I'm doing. Using the grips, I can drag to resize the ortho cube. I'll bring the sides in a bit and the back end to just clip to where the pipe of interest is. As you can see, this is very simple to do. Now we'll go ahead and save this view in case we want to use it again. From the ribbon, I pick Save Current View Configuration give the view a name, in this case plan view, and click OK. With the view clipped and saved, I'll click Create Ortho View on the ribbon. Then I'll place this view on my drawing in the lower left-hand side of this D-size page. This creates our plan ortho view of the segment. Next I'm going to create another section for this ortho so again, I'll pick the New View button, pick the same models, and here's our preview. This view is going to be a back view, so I'll start by naming it Back View. And instead of resizing the cube the same as last time, I'm going to load up the previously saved plan view. Do this by picking the Load View Configuration option and selecting the plan view. I'll change my view from top to back. 
And I will change the angle I'm looking at these models back to a top view. Get the idea that this is the same sized cube. Finally, I'm going to change the scale to 3 16th, make it a little bit smaller scale than I had before. All right. I press Create Ortho View in the ribbon and then place our rear elevation outline in the upper left of our orthographic drawing. After some processing, we have our view. Now I'll show you another way to make a view from the same size view cube as a previously created section. We'll use the adjacent view command. We'll click the adjacent view in the ribbon to create a side view with the same ortho cube as the rear view. In the create adjacent view dialog, I will pick left and give this view a name and hit OK to place it. We'll place this view just to the right of the back view previously placed. We actually place this a bit high, so I'm going to use my AutoCAD to move this view down just like you would any other AutoCAD view. Make it line up with the view next to it. Finally, we're going to add a 3D isometric view to this ortho drawing. This requires a little bit of pre-work. Earlier, I published a 3D DWIF of the line rendered from our model. Using the DWIF underlay functionality, we can add this isometric view to our orthographic drawing. In the Attach DWIF Underlay dialog box, I'll set the scale to 0.025, then hit OK, and place this ISO view in my model. As you can see, creating orthographic drawings with AutoCAD Plant 3D is simple and straightforward. In the next ortho video, I'll explain how to annotate and dimension ortho drawings. We'll also make changes to the model and update orthos and the annotations. Thanks for watching.